What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And 2020 has been a rough year for any and every Jacksonville Jaguar fan. The writing is on the wall. Everybody knows that this team is trying to rebuild and trying to get better for the years ahead. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't some pieces here on this Jaguar team that will be vital to the team's success in the near future when this team does build to be a perennial playoff team. And we are going to talk about those players when we break down the top five Jacksonville Jaguars of 2020. And obviously, we are only 10 weeks into the season, so I will make another list once the season concludes. And if tomorrow you want a top five worst Jacksonville Jaguars through the 2020 season, make sure you get this video up to, let's say, 15 likes by tomorrow afternoon, and I will make a top five worst Jaguars of 2020. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the top five best performing Jacksonville Jaguar players of the 2020 season. Number five, Sidney Jones. Now, some of you, if you were expecting a corner to be on this list, I think you would have expected C.J. Henderson to make this list. But I think Sidney Jones, in his time in Jacksonville, has outperformed him. Picking him off of the Philadelphia Eagles practice squad, every time that man is out on the field, he plays like he has something to prove, and he does. He knows that this may be his last opportunity to get a starting role on an NFL team, and he is making the most out of his opportunity out there on the field, and he is playing like this is a team that could still make the playoffs. Like He's out there playing hard every rep. There is still some times, you know, out there where it shows that he does get beat and, you know, there's some learning to do there. But this is a guy that could be very, very important to the Jaguars' success in the upcoming years and could be a vital part to the Jaguars' defensive back room because as of right now, they are not, not deep at all. And with C.J. Henderson and Sidney Jones kind of anchoring that room and, you know, while the Jags kind of address other areas such as maybe like the pass rushing position, obviously the quarterback position, tinker with that offensive line, that defensive line, the linebackers a little bit and, you know, kind of rely on C.J. Henderson and Sidney Jones to kind of hold down those corner spots and kind of fix the safety position as well, which I think is more of a direct need than the cornerback position. I think Sidney Jones is a good guy to kind of hold that down. He shows that he is a guy that wants that position. His stats through the year so far, he has nine pass deflections. It seems like, you know, a lot of quarterbacks have been testing Sidney Jones, kind of seeing what he has, and he's been up to the task for that. I mean, uh, against Houston, he had that pass deflection that resulted in that Jared Wilson in interception. I think that was a top five uh, Jaguar play of the season so far. He has two interceptions, including one off Aaron Rodgers last week, 23 total, 23 total tackles, including a season-high nine tackles last week against Green Bay. I think Sidney Jones should be on everybody's top five players through the 2020 season so far for the Jaguars. And uh, if not, then he should be, you know, in your top ten. I don't even think you could really make a top ten for the Jaguars. But, you know, I I don't see any argument why he should not be a top 10 player on your top 10 list. Number four, Keelan Cole. I've always been a big supporter of Keelan Cole, but I've also been one of Keelan Cole's hardest critics. I came into the 2020 season saying that this wide receiver room was going to be probably the deepest room for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into this season, and definitely the most talented. And I think that up to this point, that is hard to argue. I think the wide receiver room right now, with the just youth and the talent that the Jags have there, I think it is the best position group that the Jaguars have. And again, you know, the ongoing joke is is that Jason from Jaguars United thought it was going to be the defensive backs. I thought it was going to be the receivers. And uh, Treb was definitely right. So again, flood the comment section with hashtag Treb is smarter than Jason because that's just the way she goes. But Keelan Cole has been the most reliable wide receiver for the Jaguars this year. You know, he's kind of been that security blanket, kind of that Wes Welker um, to Gardner Minshew and Jake Luton, you know, that reliable guy. He had he has 34 catches, 427 yards, four touchdowns, including a punt return touchdown last week. Keelan Cole always finds a way to make plays and to dominate and to just, you know, get the job done. He does what he needs to do. He kind of, you know, his demeanor reminds me of James Robinson. He's a lot of just, he needs to do what he needs to do. He's here for business and he's here 
to win football games, and he's going to be a very crucial part to this Jacksonville Jaguars team when they start winning football games. Number three, DJ Chark. So I put two wide receivers in my top five uh, Jacksonville Jaguar players of 2020. And the reason I put DJ Chark higher than Keelan Cole is he has less catches and more yards, 37 catches, 493 yards, and four touchdowns. And it's because this guy is the number one wide receiver in Jacksonville. You know, teams have to game plan for DJ Chark, and there are times this man is open, and either Gardner Minshew or Jake Luton just miss him either by just a step or they're completely off. I mean, I know in that Green Bay game, Jake Luton missed him on a deep ball, and those and the winds were crazy. I mean, the whole entire game, the winds were absolutely insane. I think it got up to like 25, 24 mile an hour winds there in Lambeau. And, you know, you can't really expect a guy like Jake Luton to, you know, come into his second NFL game and throw a complete dot in that situation. But, you know, DJ's kind of been hurt playing with some, you know, below average QB play on the deep ball. But this is a guy that is insane with the deep ball, man. Like, I mean, a true 50-50 wide receiver. He proved that last year, you know, when Gardner Minshew was really on point and early on in the season as well um, when he was at his peak. But another reason why this guy is higher on the list than Keelan Cole is because this offense is straight up anemic without him. I mean, you look at the Miami game. The Jaguars went into that game 1-1, one and, one, and I think kind of underestimating a Miami team that now you know, has gone on to prove that they are a really solid football team. I think, you know, six and three, you know, coming off winning five games in a row. I mean, this is a good, good football team, no doubt about that. But, you know, that was a game DJ Chark wasn't there and Gardner couldn't couldn't throw it to anybody. I mean, there was nobody that could get open down the field. You know, this offense is just straight up non-existent without him and that's why I think you know getting another down the field threat wide receiver is going to be very important in this offseason um whether that be through free agency whether that be through the draft you know DJ Chark can't be the only guy to get the 50-50 balls um and I think Keelan Cole can be that guy but you know he's kind of had to fill in and be that guy during the season and it hasn't worked out too well so DJ Chark has had an excellent season he's a true 50-50 ball wide receiver and I think he has, he has, excuse me, he has had the third best season out of any Jaguar player so far this year. Number two, Miles Jack. Miles Jack, man, this is a guy that loves the game of football. I mean, everywhere he goes, a big play follows. I mean, his new, you know, natural change of position, now that he's not playing the true middle linebacker, and that's more Joe Schobert's responsibility. What you can say about how Joe Schobert has been playing this year is up to you, but my man Miles Jack has played exceptionally well. He was a part of probably the best play um, in 2020 so far, that interception against the Bengals. He's had three pass deflections and 60 tackles. Miles Jack has been an anchor on this defense, and much like DJ Chark, when he's not out there on defense, when he's regularly out there on defense, I mean, this defense doesn't really play up to par, but, you know, when he's not out there on defense, this defense really, really struggles. So this is a guy that is very important to this Jacksonville Jaguar defense, and they need him out there for them to succeed. And this is a guy that the Jaguars handed a contract to that not a lot of fans agreed with. You know, obviously they wanted some more pieces of the Saxonville puzzle here with him long term, but this is a guy I think deserves his contract, and I think every Jaguar fan can agree, this is a guy that not only is a defensive MVP, but you can make an argument, has played the best football for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2020. And coming in at number one, we have Taven Bro- oh, I'm sorry, wrong list, James Robinson, man. James Robinson, 689 rushing yards, 5 rushing touchdowns, 228 receiving yards, 2 touchdowns, 897 yards from scrimmage, the most from any undrafted rookie free agent. This man has been a difference maker. If the Jaguars did not have James Robinson in the backfield, who knows how bad this season would be from a viewing standpoint. I mean, having Jake Luton out there with no run game and you have to rely on Chris Thompson or a running back off of the street. I mean, this could have been way worse, ladies and gentlemen, but instead the Jaguars may have found their new Maurice Jones-Drew, their new Fred Taylor. And how silly is it that us Jags fans, during the Leonard Fournette, you know, when we cut him, you know, that's when everybody knew we were tanking. And, you know, we were all hurt. We were all very upset that the Jaguars released Leonard Fournette. 
even though he didn't have all the intangibles that a elite running back had. Even though we give that guy a lot of shit. Even though we knew that this offense wasn't too successful running through him. And then we get James Robinson. And James Robinson is a dog. And everybody loves James Robinson. This man is hopefully a perennial pro bowler. Hopefully this man is a guy that this offense can run through for years and years to come. Because this is... My favorite Jacksonville Jaguar player right now. And, you know, I, I don't know. I think the writing on the wall right now is... I think the writing is on the wall right now for Gardner Minshew. So, I think James Robinson is the next jersey I'm going to get. I love James Robinson. And I think, without a doubt, he has had the best 2020 season out of any Jaguar player so far. And that was my top five Jaguar players of 2020. What would you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. Don't forget, you can like me on Facebook at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Dream Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel three days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just Trey Facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.